but we really work closely as a team. It's almost like having a second family when you work 12 hour shifts providing electricity 24 seven to the community, you, you have that bond with the people you work with. We're not taking any shortcuts in that every system, no matter if it might cause some small schedule adjustment, that we're going to correct any deficiencies we see in the field now. Another section in this book that really catches my eye is the, the Fukushima response modifications because bringing these flex mods on and proving to the NRC and, try, and helping to convince our community that we're taking every step that we see possible to protect them and ourselves. Most of us in the control room, we started out as AUOs in the field. We've taken on these, you know, these huge tasks and we've worked through them and we've, we've completed all these systems and we've looked at them independently and, and we're really starting to put all the puzzle pieces together now and that's the exciting part. To tell my kids, you know, I was the first person that started, remotely started a motor from the control room for Unit 2, period. It's so technical in nature sometimes, but if you just really take the time and step back and think of what we're really doing here, making sure that if someone gets up in the middle of the night that they can go to the refrigerator and get something to drink, we're making sure that you know everyone is able to stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer and that my children can be provided for and they can grow up and know that they have you know something to be proud of in the area and what we you know what we're giving back as well.